Hi everyone, in this video we are going to introduce you to the export options and settings in GeoTracker for After Effects. You'll see how to export tracking results in the form of a track of the whole object, and also as a point from the surface of the object. We'll cover all export settings and talk about the importance of the consistent camera parameters in the composition and GeoTracker. The result of object tracking is a sequence of keyframes containing the position and rotation of the tracked object. These parameters can be found in the results group. However, instead of linking to the parameters of this group directly, we highly recommend exporting null objects from the export group below. In order to do that, use the object track option, which will create a null object containing all tracked movement. Note that the scale parameter will be exported as well, just like position and rotation. You can connect any layers to the null object. We have already prepared the composition for that. All you have to do is add the comp to the timeline, switch the 3D mode on, then parent the comp to the null object and reset the position and orientation of the comp layer to zero. As you can see, the anchor points of the car model and the composition are in the same place. But you probably have noticed that the comp is flipped. That's because we are looking at the car from its backside, and in this case, you have to rotate the composition layer around the Y axis. Be careful and do not change the orientation of the exported null object. If you want to change any parameters, you need to change them in the parented layer. Now you may adjust the speedometer by size and position. If you press play, you will see that the speedometer and the car move together. Quite often, what you really need is to attach something to a point on the surface of the object, and the surface point export option allows you to achieve exactly this. By default, null object is normal oriented, which means its z-axis will be perpendicular to the surface of the tracked object. But if you need to export null object oriented the same way as a model, you can switch the orientation to object. We are going to replace the license plate, and that's why the normal option is exactly what we need. Right after you click the export button, you will see a crosshair, which lets you choose any point on the surface of the object. Let's choose a point on the license plate. You'll get a 3D null object located exactly where the license plate is in 3D space. Now, let's add the picture or composition you want to attach to the exported point. Enable the 3D mode, parent the picture to the null object, and reset the position and orientation to zero like we did before. Adjust the position and size of the picture. Press play to check that everything is working properly. For 2D animation purposes, null objects can be exported as 2D layers. Simply select 2D in the menu, export null object and parent your comp to it. All export options have the linked checkbox. It allows changing tracking after export because instead of numeric values in keyframes, the transformation parameters of this null object contain expressions. For example, let's look at the position and orientation of the null object and unfold the results group in GeoTracker. When you change the numbers in the results group, they automatically change in the null object too. When exporting the tracking results, you need to make sure that the camera in GeoTracker matches the camera in the composition, Otherwise, the exported results will be inconsistent with the tracking in GeoTracker. By default, GeoTracker uses the active camera, which you don't need to export. If you use a custom camera, you have to export it along with the tracking results. You can do it manually by clicking the Export Camera button. But GeoTracker will check the current camera in the composition and remind you to export your custom camera if it's needed. If you wonder how the tracking results can be used with other 3D plugins for After Effects, please stay tuned. We'll cover integrating GeoTracker for After Effects with Element 3D, Stardust and Cinema 4D in our next videos and written tutorials. For now, please come to our website, download and install GeoTracker. A fully functional free trial period is waiting for you.